Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you I'm sure? Not, I'm not convinced. <laughs> You're not convinced? Man, hey guys, this is... Let's tell them a little bit about what you're going to do and explain this is not an illusion, right? right. <laughs> yeah, being an escape artist and, a and an illusionist are two very different things. Uh, because usually with illusions that require some kind of slight hand or trick, you know, thing, this, this stuff is very real, which is why I kind of got to give you a warning that, you know, don't ever try this, you know, kind of thing in any any way, shape, form, or fashion at all, you know, because this is, this is the real stuff. I've conditioned my body for a long, long time to be able to, to do things like this. So, uh, but what I'm going to need, I'm going to need to, I have a volunteer. I need a volunteer to help me out. Yeah, you want to sit down? Now, I kind of want to walk you through this a little bit. Um, you know, as you can see, this is a real tank. It's full of water. There's going to be water gushing out through the top. Um, but here's the thing, there's something about these locks. These are special locks. These are locks that uh, a lot of military use a lot. Um, and these locks here, you know, you can see how big and strong those are. But, uh, but they're not like the regular locks you can just get at Walmart. These are like military issue locks. And um, what makes them unique is that when you get these locks, um, you know, because the military, they need to keep things secret sometimes, you know. So when you get these locks, uh, it only comes with two keys in the world. There's only two keys in the entire world that opens each and every one of these locks. Okay, you can tell this because there's serial numbers on the front. See those serial numbers? There's matching, and it matches the one on here. Um, so here's the thing. If you were to take these keys and take them to Walmart to try to duplicate it, um, even if you try to put it in the machine, it would kick it out, because it would see the serial number and it would say, no, nah, that's a special key. You can't duplicate these keys. So, um, so in essence, uh, there's only two keys in the entire world that open this lock right here, and that's these two here, okay? Uh, same thing with that lock, same thing with that lock, that lock, and everything that we've got here. So what they're going to do in just a second, they're going to lock me up nice and tight. And you're going to get both copies to every lock, okay? You're going you're to get both keys to go to every lock on those things, so that way you know I'm not just unlocking myself or something like that. So you're going to hang on a lanyard around your neck, except for this one. These two keys go to this outside lock, and just to raise the bar just a little bit, here's what they're going to do. They're going to lock me up, they're going to put me inside and shut the door. Then they're going to take these two keys, the only two in the world that will open this lock, they're going to lock it tight, and they're going to take the keys and slip it inside to me through this crack, okay? So that way, if, even if something does go wrong, there's no way that anyone is going to be able to get inside to me, because I'm the only one who has the keys does this lock. Does that make sense? Yeah. Just to up the bar and just make it. So, so what we're going to do, they're going to strap me up on that stuff. What I've got to do, they're going to slip the keys. They're going to they're going to sink to the bottom. I've got to be able to get out of the restraints, reach down to the bottom, grab the keys so that I can have arm room to slip them up through the top. And then when it comes out, they're going to unlock it, fortunately, hopefully, you know, if nothing goes wrong. Um, so... Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and start the locking up process, and you're going to get both copies.
So he's going to have to get totally out of it, and then, not if, when I see the keys, right? You're going to get the keys back out to me. That's, that's, the, that's the idea, right? Right, right. Get the keys back out to me, unlock it, and hopefully it's going to be around a minute 20 to a minute 25, because that's pretty comfortable. When it gets to about a minute, you said a minute 35, Yeah. not, that's, that's, not a good thing. Because the thing is, I can hold my breath for about a minute 52 seconds when I'm just sitting in a room. But when I'm moving and wiggling out, I'm trying to get out of chains, it drops significantly. So that would be like, for example, if you were to sit right here and just hold your breath as long as you can, you might be able to hold it for 50 seconds or somewhere through there. But if you did the same thing while running, I mean, that's going to drop it down to like 40 seconds, yeah. you know, or, or 35. You know, because when there's activity, your, your oxygen is using more, your lungs are using more oxygen, that kind of thing. So, so if it gets to a minute 35, I'm, it's not going to be good, but... We'll, we'll get out of it. All right, so Austin's going to be the official timekeeper. He's got the iPhone here. He's going to start it. We're going to keep an eye on this, right? And we'll let you guys know how long he's in there as we go along. You ready? Yeah. You guys ready for this? Man, these guys do a lot of crazy things on the BMX stuff, and uh, I don't normally get nervous with this. I get nervous about this. All right, man, you tell me when you're ready. You ready? You guys ready? Yeah! All right, here we go. Yeah, he's really in there, right? Yeah, and he's not breathing, I promise. That is not an illusion. All right, we got 30 seconds. Tell me when you got a minute 30. 
Minute 30. Minute 30. Minute 37. 37. Minute 42. Minute 45. You guys give it up for Josh Shannon!